I spent the summer of 2010 traveling around remote regions of Lake Ayasi in northern Tanzania with the Hadza, who are one of the last remaining hunter-gatherer populations on the planet. And my goal was to explore the origins of human social networks and the evolution of cooperation. The hunter-gatherer lifestyle predates agriculture, villages, and even domesticated animals. Isolated from modern cultural influences, the Hadza essentially live as our ancestors did tens of thousands of years ago, roaming rugged terrain and forming temporary camps along the way. Their lives offer us a window into our past and clues about the evolution of cooperation. For the Hadza, cooperation is the key to survival. These welcoming, resilient people share almost everything, food, labor, childcare, which raises the question, are there some people who are just looking for a free ride in the community? The free riders would be expected to garner more resources than altruists. Eventually, their behavior would unravel the social fabric. Do the Hadza have a mechanism to keep this from occurring? Social network experts Nicholas Christakis here at Harvard Medical School and James Fowler from the University of California in San Diego helped me design a study to answer these and other questions. Specifically, we designed exercises to measure social ties and cooperation. Over the course of several months, I visited 17 different Hadza camps, which was no easy feat. The terrain was a challenge, and it was often difficult to find the camps because the Hadza are nomadic. They move every four to six weeks. The Hadza don't own things, so they don't have to stay in one place. And camp membership is also fluid. If an individual is unhappy with a particular group, he or she can move to a different one. I was greeted warmly at each camp, where I found many adults, 205 in all, eager to take part in our study. I showed each participant photos of 517 adult Hadza that were collected during past research with the community. I asked, who would you like to live with after this camp ends? We also use games with honey, a favorite food of the Hadza, to shed light on ties in the community. For example, one game allowed us to measure the tendency of particular individuals to cooperate. Each participant decided how to distribute four sticks of honey after listening to the rules. When we mapped individual traits with social ties, the results were astounding. Cooperators cluster together. They become friends with other cooperators, which keeps self-interested individuals from dragging them down. And what's more, the architecture of the Hadza social network matches that of modern social networks. These findings provide crucial insight into the evolution of cooperation and altruism in humans and suggest that social networks have been a fundamental part of human life since ancient times.